My name is Andrew Benavides. I own Caffeina Cafe, and I applied for a PPP loan back around April. Just one month into the pandemic and one year into his long-held dream of owning a business, his City Heights coffee shop sales dropped by half. And people decided not to go out anymore. 26-year-old Benavides hoped to use the federal loan as a lifeline to cover rent, utilities, inventory, everything that keeps a business afloat. But officials told him he wasn't eligible. According to them, uh, at the time, I didn't fall under one of their qualifications, which was having employees. Mom and pop stores and one-man shops such as Benavides's Caffeina often have fewer than 10 employees. Having fewer workers made it harder to qualify for badly needed government aid. Right. Also, the rules kept changing. Enrique Gandaria is executive director of the City Heights Business Association. It's just not a good situation for small businesses. Especially in some poorer communities of color like City Heights, which received a total of 317 loans. That money, according to federal data, helped save around 1,500 jobs. In contrast, Claremont, north of I-8, and where more than half the population is white, got 800 loans and retained over 3,600 jobs. Claremont's population is actually just under a quarter smaller than City Heights. Gandaria blamed that wide gap on many small businesses lacking access to accountants, lawyers, and bankers who can help navigate what may be for some a complex bureaucratic process. He also blamed poor loan outreach in areas that are low income, of color, and ethnically mixed. Well, the City Heights, we have a community that is extremely diverse with many first generation immigrants that are entrepreneurs, very entrepreneurial. But they come from countries where uh, they don't trust the government for very good reasons. And they're not used to dealing with government agencies. There are also big margins in the number of PPP loans given out to some cities north and south of the 8 freeway. Chula Vista got 2,200 PPP loans and saved over 21,000 jobs. Carlsbad businesses obtained 3,400 loans, preserving more than 38,000 jobs. Escondido appears to be an outlier. The North County ethnically diverse city secured 2,100 loans and held on to 32,000 jobs. It's one of the cities that was more efficient in a key goal of the program, job preservation. Cities like Escondido, El Cajon, La Mesa, their small businesses saved over six and a half jobs per loan, whereas in Encinitas, for example, it was only 4.4 jobs per loan. SDSU business lecturer Mira Kopik says overall the distribution of loans was aligned with the distribution of businesses in the county. Kopik agrees the government should have done a better job in letting underserved communities know the loans are available and how to apply. But he adds that the PPP still served its mission in getting small loans out to small businesses. The number of loans less than 150,000 is 80, are 85 percent of the PPP loans that were processed in San Diego County. As for Benavides, he says he'll apply for the next round of PPP loans. We don't need too much, but we still need a lump sum just to keep our lights on. Amitha Sharma, KPBS News.